These kind of trees are easy because they're big, easy visible and no twiglets. This stuff, twiglets, some twiglets up there, twiglets there on the left flying into those twiglets, 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 whatever you want to call them. Those twigs. Welcome back and welcome to 2025 with a video about the Air 3S. Now in this video I'm going to be testing the obstacle detection of this little drone to its absolute limits because the Air 3S has LiDAR which means that rather than just using visual obstacle detection you can also use a laser to bounce off objects and detect them and it's supposed to work better. You've probably seen lots of videos already of people flying this around cities and woodlands and showing how well it can work but there is a bit of a Achilles heel when it comes to obstacle detection of drones and that is this stuff twiglets, scraggle, whatever you might call it, this will ruin your day when it comes to using obstacle detection in woodlands. And I want to see how well the Air 3S can cope with this. So I'm going to be testing that to its limits in these English woodlands, which are not very tidy, very scraggly, lots of this around, and props are going to be broken, might crash it, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, if it can survive this, it can survive pretty much anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this into a forward flight and cruise control, let go of the sticks, let it do its thing, See how my nerves stack up, hopefully not crash it, and we'll see how it goes, see if we can get to the end. Let's get going. So we're going to push forward and set the speed on this. Like that. And we're off. Right, coming up to some trees there. Okay, still not touching controls. Right, quite a few bits of scraggly bits coming up there at the moment, so let's see what it does. Is it going to avoid it? Okay, it's getting quite close to, there's lots of stuff up there, what's it doing? So it's actually snapped out of cruise control and sort of stopped itself. So I'm going to set it back on this path and see how it goes. coming up to some trees. These kind of trees are easy because they're big, easy visible and no twiglets. So that's no problem for the Air 3S. Still not touching anything. trees there, some twiglets up there, and wait, what's it doing? Okay, let's try it again. Wait. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is quite impressive. That is very, very close. It's literally got to that point and stopped itself. So, okay, try it again. Let's bring it down a bit. See what it does. Okay, it's avoided them pretty well. It's quite twitchy. Okay, whoop, avoided that one quite well. Right. Nice big tree up there, that should be fine. Twiglets there on the left, but okay, what's it doing? Oh, very impressive, very nice. and it stopped again. Hey, no, still going. Ah, oh God. Okay, I'm still not touching anything. That was completely the drone just deciding to give it a go. Okay, that's quite impressive because it actually stopped itself from flying into those twiglets, aborted cruise control, and when it couldn't find a way around them, just stopped completely. So I'm gonna fly back into the sun and see what it does in that direction. Literally just stop there. <laughs> Very close to that. Okay, let's try again. And forward. 
Going a bit faster now. We just missed that one. Okay, it's settling very well. So, oi! Okay. Missed those. Still not touching the controls. We just missed that one. Missed that as well. Very impressive. Okay, it's finally stopped itself. <sighs> right there. Couldn't make it through those twigs. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I tried to push forward and that happened. Ah. Okay, I don't know if I captured that on this camera, but that went all over the place. Hit one twig, then another tree, and it's still flying. Um, Let's have a look at the state of the props because you can actually hear it's not very good at the moment. Okay, so the verdict is in and I've broken a total of one, two, three props, which is more than I've got left because I did a few tests in the run-up to this video and I did crash the Air 3S into Scraggle quite a few times in that, which means I've got a whole pile of broken props in the car. But that's fine because I think that was quite a nice little test and it did show that it does work really well. I mean, it can avoid Scraggle, Twiglets, whatever you want to call them, really well in the forward line of sight. Now, in the process of avoiding obstacles, it does have a tendency to swerve out of the way very quickly and then fly sideways into twiglets because the omnidirectional obstacle detection is visual and that won't pick them up very well. And that's probably the most likely way you're going to crash this if you're trying to fly around environments with these things. So the verdict is that obstacle detection on this drone does work very well but it's definitely not invincible and it definitely will crash in this environment if you fly long enough and you're depending yourself on obstacle detection. Now, a bit of advice I can give you at the end of this video is if you can't see an obstacle with your own eyes, then chances are the Air 3S or your drone's not going to see them either. The Air 3S probably more likely than some other drones, but even then, if you can't see it, like if you're walking around and you can't see these in the corner of your eye, then chances are drones are going to struggle as well because most drones just use visual obstacle detection and even the Air 3S with its LiDAR has some limitations. I've actually dropped this drone from shoulder height up to about three meters about half a dozen times now, maybe 10 times. And so far it's completely unbroken, which is really impressive because I've dropped the Mavic 3 Pro from about one and a half meters before from the roof of my car and it snapped one of the arms, but this one, not so much. So it's quite impressive. I don't think I'll be putting it through a Neo style crash test that I did, but who knows, I might do some things with it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you found it useful to not crash it in these environments. Until the next time, happy flying, stay safe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.